containers that you see here today, I use to pack school and office lunches for kids and adults because my family loves portable food. As you can see, there are two main types of lunch containers, plastic and stainless steel. All the plastic lunch containers I'll be sharing with you are free of BPA and phthalates, and of course, the stainless steel is food grade, so you're good to go there. For years, I've been using these easy lunchbox containers, and you'll actually see them in many of my social media posts and other videos. They are super affordable, you get four of them in a pack, and you simply can't beat how easy and fast they make packing lunches. Check out some of these lunch ideas and how easy it divides the food. Whether you have big or small appetites or you simply want to pack a generous snack box, these easy lunch boxes are a great buy. Speaking of snack boxes, this year Easy Lunch Boxes launched its snack box and this has now become one of my go-tos as well. As you can see, it is smaller than the original lunch box in size, but it's the perfect holder for snacks or bento boxes for younger kids and for me. You can totally pack it in a lunch bag along with the larger box and still have room for an ice pack or a drink. These also come four to a set and are super affordable. Again, a link to the snack boxes right below this video. The only drawback of the Easy Lunch boxes is that they are not leak proof. Although there are many hacks for that online and that's not something that I typically worry about since it holds things like hummus really well, just not liquids of a thinner consistency like dressing or applesauce. And those I typically send in one of these mini dippers from Easy Lunch Boxes. They are the perfect size for dressings and condiments. Okay, up next is the Yum Box. It's been a favorite of ours for years, especially as my kids were younger. We continue to use these on days where I wanna pack yogurt or applesauce or a dressing or maybe some marinara sauce along with the lunch. They are well built and they make packing lunches super easy. The only drawback is the price, so if you wanna pack multiple lunches or pack ahead, the good news is that you can have one case and multiple trays, so that's an all-in-one solution that's also available. My final plastic lunch container is one that I've been using all year and a recent addition into the lunch packing marketplace, the Omi Box. This is the lunch container if you want to pack a hot lunch and a cold lunch in one. It has a built-in removable thermos where you can put hot meals or cold smoothies or yogurts inside. All the other compartments are separate for things like fruit, cheese, crackers, and whatever else you want to send. You wanna pack meatballs for lunch? Some fruit along with that? How about some Parmesan cheese? You can do that too. The Omi Box is definitely a good all-in-one solution and for days that you don't need the thermos, you can use that middle compartment to pack a sandwich. The only drawback is that it's a big heavy once filled with food, especially for the younger kids and also the price. But it's definitely a sturdy container and I've been using ours for about a year without any issues. Of course, if you're the type of person that loves to send hot lunches and are looking for a thermos container, make sure to check out this video, which I'll also link below, with my top five tested and loved thermos containers. I have about six thermoses at my house because with five people to pack lunches for, one can never have enough thermoses around. Some are bigger, some are smaller, and each has its own feature, which make sure to check out that video and the links below to see which one is better for you. If stainless steel is what you want to pack your lunches, the lunchbox containers remain my top choice because it's super easy to add variety and they have multiple designs to make packing bentos a breeze. These lunchbox are very affordable and super durable. The only drawback is that they're not leak proof and the ones with multiple compartments are kind of small, so you definitely might need to pack a second one for bigger kids. And last but not least, I have these reusable zip bags that are terrific for bigger kids who have outgrown kitty containers. I go into detail about these and how I pack lunches for teens in another video, so I'll make sure to link it below and at the end. Reusable zip bags are super convenient and not just for lunches. The larger ones perform double duty for marinades and more. So as you can see, I've updated this video with new finds and new favorites. 
This video is not sponsored and you can find the links to all the products in the description box below. If you love this type of practical and helpful content, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. A new video comes out every single week. See you next time.